This one's called Do the Handicapped Go to Hell? If you guys want the full reaction, early access, link in the description to the Patreon. Also, come say what's up on the Discord and the Instagram. Links in the description below. But let's get into this. Let's go! I walk hand in hand with Jesus over at the park by where he lives. He's not like all my other friends who really don't care about me. <laughs> Amen. And now, Mr. Mackey. Uh, God is our refuge and strength. Okay. Hey, you guys, you want to know what my favorite psalm is? It's a man's obligation to stick his boneration in a woman's separation. This sort of penetration will increase the population of the younger generation. God. Wait, hold on. That's... Okay, that's obviously not in the Bible, right? Maybe along those lines, but not said like that. Like... No, 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 there's separation. It's a man's obligation to stick his boneration in a woman's... Boys, you are in church! Okay. Uh, True. The God is our refuge. Okay. Jesus Thank Christ. Thank you, Mr. Mackey. We are going to talk about hell. Woo! Hell, flames, screaming, torture for eternity. Once you are in hell, you cannot escape, dying over and over and over. Damn. Turn into this black bog of stench, then woe is thou, your ruler of pain and agony. Let's see what Satan's saying. To the hooky love. Yeah, he's still the same. <laughs> Everybody loves the hooky lap. I do. Whether the loud is the cock out the loo out. Everybody loves the hooky lap. Whether the loud is the cock out the loo out. Where are we going? Get to the hooky lap. The hooky lap. Hitler. This is Diana again. Oh, God. Aloha. <laughs> Great luau, Satan. A few of us are gonna go pound some brews. You wanna join us? Oh, I'd love to, but I can't. Chris and I just moved to the west side and we have to unpack. Oh, well, maybe <laughs> next time. Great luau. Say it's so interesting, bro. Jeez. <laughs> just a normal dude, but Satan. Did you, uh, see my boy with an umbrella, Hummel? Uh, no, but there's still some boxes coming from the movers. Thanks. <laughs> Put the boxes by the- Oh my god. You know what I fucking thought for a second, bro. I, I really was gonna say Saddam. Cause I remember from the from the film, I was like, what the hell is this guy, bro? What? Saddam. Did you miss me, Buttercup? I killed you. Yeah, you killed me? Where was I gonna go? Detroit? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> True. Oh god no. He's I moved on. Everlasting agony and pain. If this does not change, I promise you, you will all be going to the black pit of Satan's world! That is all. Peace be with you. Damn. That go through the boys like that? I think that. Well, that was quite an uplifting sermon. Mom, we're staying for Sunday school. What? We have to go to Sunday school so we don't burn. Yeah, I'll see you later, man. Damn, even Cartman? Now look at that. They're scared to death. I'm trying to save their souls and the souls of everyone in this town from the wretched lake of fire. Good intentions, I guess? Just let me in so we can talk. This isn't what I need in my life right now. I changed, Satan. Oh, I haven't heard that before. <laughs> Can we just go out for a burrito? Me gusta burrito mucho. I'm with Chris now. He can't pound your ass like I can. Oh, Saddam. Wait, wait, I'm sorry. You can't deny what's between us. You can try, but you know we belong to you. <sighs> My life is Chris treats me well. You and I are through. Goodbye. Well done, Satan, bruh. Please stay in that mindset, okay? No, stay in mind. Ah, give me a break. It's abuse, Saddam. <laughs> Children, I'm Sister Anne. Are we gonna go to hell? Well, hopefully not. That's why you're gonna need to receive communion. A and as long as we get this communion thing, we're safe? Let me explain how communion works. The priest will give you this round cracker, the body of Christ, and then you eat it. Jesus was made of crackers? No. <laughs> but crackers are his body. Yes. Representation, bruh. Mark. So we won't go to hell as long as we eat crackers? No, 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 no. No, 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 I get it. Jesus wanted us to eat him, but he didn't want us to be cannibals, so he turned himself into crackers. No. No? When the priest gives you the cracker, you eat it, okay? Okay. Simple as. You will drink a very small amount of wine, for that is the blood of Christ. Oh, come on now. This is just getting silly. Eric, do you want to go to hell? No. Then stop questioning me. But now we can have communion and not go to hell, right? No. Because before you can take the first communion, you have to have your first confession so that God can forgive you. You kids will all have to go to your first confession this Tuesday. Think long and hard about all your sins so that you can tell the priest everything. Damn. Time to let it out, guys. <laughs> Those are some great pork chops, Satan. Yeah. Hey, you. You've been acting strange all night. What's up? Nothing. Why? Come on, Satan. You know you can tell me anything. 
Saddam showed up today. Respect the honesty. Wasn't ready for that. <laughs> he showed up spouting all kinds of things about and he still loves me. I thought you killed him. Yeah, well, where was he gonna go, Detroit? Do you still love him? No, Chris. It's okay if you do. Of course there's a part of me that will always love him. I... But you know what I think we should do? I think we should all get together and just talk like adults. Oh, that's a bad idea. I'm in here, Satan. I want to just go meet this guy. Oh, Saddam is an insane person, bro. Oh, he hasn't met him, I guess. But Satan, bro, just steer him away, please. Chris, you don't understand. <laughs> Saddam is fucking crazy. I know he's got the whole bad boy thing going. I think that's what you're attracted to. Bad boy, yeah. I can be a pretty rough tumbler myself. Oops! Ah, butternuts! Bro, <laughs> he's nuts. Ah, uh, they're probably gonna fall in love again. And then there was the time we held that little first grader down and farted on him for 28 minutes. Right, I already got Jeez. that one. Hey dudes, what are you doing? Sister Ann told us we have to confess all our sins or else we're gonna go to hell. What? Have you confessed all your sins yet? No! Dude, he's Jewish. He doesn't have to confess his sins. Oh, good. I don't? No, you're already going to hell. I am! <laughs> Dude, this lady told us if you don't confess all your sins and you don't eat crackers and drink wine, then you go to hell, period. I'm gonna go ask my mom. Now, let's see. Dude. What about the time we set Mr. Garrison's cat on fire? You guys, we just thought of something. What about the handicapped kid? Poor Timmy's gonna go to hell. He can't confess his sins because all he can say is his name. Timmy! Oh, man, we can't let Timmy go to hell. We have to do something. What are we gonna do? I don't know. It's good friends. That was nice from Stan, that, you know? It's like Chris is so perfect in every way, but there's just something about Saddam that I'm much more attracted to. <laughs> I'm just gonna have to not see Saddam, put him out of my mind, and focus on Chris. Good. If I don't see Saddam, then I won't have such strong feelings for him. Thanks, guys. Is he gonna pop up? There you oh. are. Oh, hi, Chris. I've been looking all over for you. Well, I called Saddam Hussein and invited him over for dinner. You dumbass! What? <laughs> I think we all need to get this out there. Oh, He's stupid. Chris. Come on, Sid. Jesus. We're all adults here. If he sees that I'm a real person too, then well, maybe he'll see how happy we are together. No, Chris. He'll try to kill you. Is what he'll do. Oh dear God. Ah, he's overstepping, bro. He said he didn't want to see him. He's the fucking devil, bro. You should respect the devil, even though the devil is your partner. Respect his decision. He's clearly saying he doesn't want to see Saddam for good enough reason. You should at least respect that. You stepping in is just going to make things worse. Oh my gosh, man. I love how I can get so invested in South Park. <laughs> it's a cartoon. It's a great cartoon. Uh, forgive me, Father, for I have sinned. <clears throat> what do you have to confess? Well, let's see. I'd like to start, if I may, back when I was two and a half. Hail Mary, full of grace, Lord is with thee, bless- Hold up! God damn it! Woo! Oh, there's Sister Anne. Come on, we gotta ask her about Timmy. Sister Anne, where do handicapped people go when they die? The handicapped are just people like you and me, so the same rules apply. They need to be baptized, take communion, and confess their sins. Nice. Well, and Timmy can't really talk, so he can't really confess his sins. So is he going to go to hell? This really isn't a question for me, it's for the priest. I'll see if I can find- <laughs> It's like a loophole, isn't it? You can't tell anybody about this stuff, right? Your <clears throat> con confession does not leave this box. Okay, because last year, I took a sandwich that the priest of this church had been eating. Took the piece of ham out of it, put it between my butt cheeks, and then put the sandwich back and watched it. <laughs> That's crazy, bro. I see. Yes, and the other time, I went pee-pee in the holy water thing, and the priest blessed himself on the forehead with it every day for about a week. And then this one time, I was at the park, and the priest was out walking his dog, and I went number two on the sidewalk, and then told Officer Bob Brady that it was a priest's dog, and so the priest got fined like $100 for not cleaning it up. And then this one That's time, crazy. I put glue all over the priest's bottle. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Why the priest don't call good, bro? Ah. Jesus. I have to ask you a question. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, what happened? I felt it, you guys. I felt it. The Holy Spirit? God. We all have to start taking this very seriously. Oh, God. Eric, bro, he's fucking hello, insane. Hello. You must be Saddam Hussein. And you must be Mr. Assface. Just kidding. You're Chris, right? Here, I brought you a potato. <laughs> he's a oh, Canadian. Thank you. Chris, no, it's a bomb! Satan? What the heck is wrong with you? Oh, it was a bomb. I must have ever kicked it. Well, come on in. Dinner's just about ready. This guy, bro, he just doesn't see red flags right in front of him. Someone hands you a bomb. They lie about it being a bomb. You see it explode and you still invite them into your house. Woo! Chris. What a guy. <laughs> what? Cookie monster. Oh, he's going up <laughs> so fast. Mom, Dad, am I going to hell? The guy said if I don't confess my sins, I'm going to go to hell. Oh, no. No, that's just Catholics. Us Jews don't believe in hell. But what if we're wrong? They could be wrong too. Yeah, but if they're wrong, no big deal. If we're wrong, 
We burn in hell! Oh, <laughs> Jesus. No. Kyle, you see, Christians use hell as a way to scare people into believing what they believe. But to believe in something just because you're afraid of the consequences if you don't believe in something is no reason to believe in something, understand? Ah, okay. I well, get it. Well, you guys can do what you want. I'm going down to that church to confess my sins, and I'm taking Ike with me. Jeez. Oh, my gosh. Religions are interesting, man. Very tricky subject to dive into. I can't dive into it too much because my lack of knowledge is very limited. So uh, I'm more of just a spectator in this uh, scenario, in this moment. So tell me, Chris, how was it that you died? Oh, well, I, I actually slipped down an escalator in a mall. What kind of pussy way of dying is that? <laughs> Look, Saddam, I know that you and Satan had a relationship, but I'm totally okay with you Sheesh. and friends. And I know that Satan and my relationship is strong enough that it can handle anything, right? He's already started? Oh, dude, it's too late. Father, the children asked me about their handy. <sighs> well, has your friend ever confessed or been baptized? I don't think so. Then hell awaits him. Father, these boys are really worried because <laughs> they think they have to. They should be worried. Mr. Father, we have to ask you something. If we're Jewish, are we going to go to hell? According to Matthew 25, when you die, you will stand before God and he will say, yes, as a Jew, your home will be the lake of fire. Oh, Jesus. No. I hope to see all of you in church this Sunday. We, we will be. be. Damn. I think that as long as Jewish people are good, they will get into heaven. Sister, the Jews crucified our Savior. I mean, if you don't go to hell for crucifying the Savior, then what the hell do you go to hell for? <laughs> You've got to help us become good Christians, please. All right, all right, all right. First thing we have to do is get you guys all baptized. Come on. Okay, you better baptize Kyle some more. Ha! Turn around so I can clean out your ass. Cartman, ass, that's a sin. Oh, now you're oh. too. Oh, shit. Oh, oh. Uh, dude, we gotta go back to church and confess again. But what about them? Wacky water weezer. Ah! Constant blessings, yeah. Okay, come on. Ah, Jeez, man. I mean, this just goes to show that kids' minds are easily susceptible, to be honest. Because if we look at this situation, they've got little understanding of what they've actually been taught, but they've taken it away with them, you know? They've just let their imagination run wild with the things that they have to do in order to actually get into heaven, I guess, you know? But, uh, yeah, kids, yeah. Kids have wild imaginations, I guess. <laughs> you know, well, I don't know about you guys, but all that ginger made me tired. I guess I should be getting back. Good. I'll show you out. Nice to meet you, Saddam. Satan, that guy is a pussy. He's stable, Saddam. Dad, that's what I said. Having stability in your life is a great thing. You should try it. Here, I'm at the Bargain Hotel on Mala Vista, room 16. No, Saddam. Throw it. Just keep it, just in case. Good night. Good Throw the key. I mean, Chris. Good night. Oh, Satan, bro. Don't even think about it. Oh, it's crazy how I can sympathize with Satan sometimes, bro, when he's supposed to be Satan. But the way he's being portrayed is, you know, is pretty likable, to be honest, in certain instances. <laughs> he does kill people from time to time. But, you know, in these scenarios like this, it's actually pretty chill, man. Yes, I understand you wish to speak with the Pope. Yes, I just wanted to see what the church thinks about Jews and the mentally handicapped. Please keep it brief. He is very old. <laughs> Do mentally challenged people go to hell? Uh, what's that you say? Oh my god. Mental dude. handicap. <laughs> Is that true? My guy. He's useless. Come on, the stupid light won't change. Hey, we're going to church. We sinned and so we have to confess again. Us too. We saw a picture of a naked lady. Yeah, if we died right now, we'd have unclean souls and we'd burn in hell. Jeez. Come on, let's go. Just Kenny? Oh my god! They killed Kenny! He had sins that he didn't confess! And he never took communion! <laughs> Doomed. <laughs> He's doomed. We gotta get to that church before we die. Yeah! What the hell? Ba baby being there seems so random, bro. What the fuck? You take it. You take it now. He's just not doing it, is he? I'm just... I know that's what you liked about sex with Saddam. I'm just showing you that I can be that way too. Oh boy. I'm a bad boy. Yeah. Take that. Don't try to be someone you're not. Don't, don't do that. Yeah, man. What do you want? No, it, when Saddam did it, yeah, but just please go to sleep. Oh. For, seriously, I'm okay. Okay. Oofed. I love you, Satan. I love you too, Saddam. Okay. Oh, 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 I'm sorry. Oh, is it Saddam? <laughs> sorry, I'm so slow. <laughs> I just realized because the music came afterwards. Oh shit, he said Saddam. Savage. I, I understand. I do. 
I just need to go get some air, okay? I'll be back. Okay. He's going to the hotel, is he? Oh no, it's locked! What? No, it can't be locked! We have to confess! There's a window in the back that's usually open. I'm first, I'm first! Oh! <laughs> what the? Oh! <laughs> Uh, bro, uh, oh, bro, why would you do it there, bro? Go home, my guy. Oh, shit, man. The priest, he's not practicing what he's preaching, bro. He's a poser. God dang it, dude. You're a sinner in the house of God. Uh, oh, forgive me, Heavenly Father. Mrs. Donovan is a tetris from hell. <laughs> dude, if this guy's going to hell, who's going to save us? I saved. Damn, he actually got caught in the act. Oh, the pain! Ah, the deception. The lies. <laughs> bro, throw it away, Saiyan, bro. I can't. But you will. I know this is the wrong thing to do. Yeah, I suppose if anyone's gonna dive straight into temptation and sin, then it's Satan, right? The OG of the game. I could lose Chris. Can't do this. We have a repeatedly broken God's commandments. We have lived our lives for ourselves. Totally ignoring the Lord! If thy hand offend thee, cut it off! It is much better for thee to Oh, what the hell are they doing now? As kids, we must abandon this town of sin and start anew! I don't want to go to hell. Jeez. It'll be a long road, Kent. To be continued. I'm going to lead you there. Is it already finished? Wow! Dude, this episode went quick. What the fuck? Oh, damn! Okay, so it's a two-parter. Oh, nice. I dig it. I dig it. But yeah, that was a good episode, man. I, I do actually really enjoy the episodes when we go to hell and we see what Satan's up to, you know, because he's actually pretty likable, like I said. Obviously, he does have his moments where he kills people and stuff like that, and uh, I don't know. I don't really agree with that, but, you know, his character is pretty... He's a solid character. Definitely doesn't fit the Satan stereotype. But yeah, man, good episode. I'm interested to see where the kids go with the, the, the church stuff. And, and kind of how it resolves itself because there's always a teaching lesson within South Park because I think their moral compass is very in the middle like it's very balanced it's no surprise as to why the show is as popular as it is Matt and Trey and the teens moral compass is very balanced from what I from what I would say anyway <clears throat> but yeah honestly I enjoy that I kind of just want to dive straight into the next one so uh, I'm going to go ahead and do that. But uh, yeah, if you enjoyed, make sure to like and sub. And I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy and peace.